chcecie się dowiedzieć, jak zdobyć osiągnięcie live imprisonment w grze Bohemian Killing, macie już dosyć, bo ciągle trafiacie na tą gilotynę, nie wiecie już co zrobić. W opisie tego filmu wrzuciłem czasy najważniejszych wydarzeń, ale jeżeli totalnie się pogubiliście i chcecie wiedzieć krok po kroku, co trzeba zrobić, aby zdobyć to osiągnięcie, to w tym filmiku przedstawię pełne zeznania, więc na pewno niczego nie przegapicie. Cześć, jestem Efriu, a to już kolejne wideo, w którym pokazuję, jak zdobyć osiągnięcia w grze Bohemian Kill. Jeżeli macie problem z odblokowywaniem także innych osiągnięć w tej grze, to w opisie tego filmu znajdziecie linki do wszystkich moich poradników dotyczących Bohemian Kill. Zaczynamy standardowo, zeznania na ulicy. No i teraz należałoby się wybrać do hotelu, ponieważ spotkanie z Marika P ma miejsce dopiero około 22.05, a jest godzina 21. Trzeba jakoś ten czas spędzić w grze biegnie tak jak w rzeczywistości, no to bez sensu będzie czekać. Na szczęście twórcy o tym pomyśleli i można przyspieszyć czas. I użyję do tego telefonu. Zegar, czyli mamy godzinę 22, a że spotkanie miało miejsce około 22.05, to zadzwonię jeszcze raz. No i teraz do apartamentu. I na górę, na najwyższe piętro. Słychać odgłosy, włamanie, biegiem na górę, do tajnej pracowni. Przez sypialnię. Drzwi do tajnej pracowni uchylone. Wchodzimy. Mary K.P. No i wciąż niepoprawiony błąd, że jak już na chwilę tracimy sterowanie po obiciu. I teraz, żeby jakoś było lepiej widać, się przebieramy. Ten efekt za chwilkę minie. Kierujemy się do Monsie Brissotta, który mieszka piętro niżej. Do you always visit your neighbors at such odd hours? Monsieur Brissot is the only neighbor I like. I believe with reciprocity. He goes to sleep late and sometimes we like to argue about politics and the influence of la révolution on today's France. Please, return to your testimony. Kierujemy się do Mosu Pisota, zagadamy go o włamanie. I started asking Monsieur Brissot about the breaking into my apartment and about the thief, whether he knew who she was or whether he had heard something suspicious. He said that he knew nothing, but realized from the description of the woman that it could be his new maid who had left his apartment some time ago. It was likely that it was the same person, so he let me in into her room, thinking that maybe I would find some sort of clue explaining her outrageous behavior. Okay, mamy zgodę, aby trochę rozejrzeć się po mieszkaniu i wejść do pokoju Mary K. Then I opened the door to go in Mary K. Zajrzyjmy, co ma tutaj w szafeczce. Przykusniemy. Otwieramy szafeczkę. Jest jakiś list. On the day of the Promete Première, funded by us, and which I attended, 
After gaining the designs, Madame Capet was supposed to meet her employer in the apartment on the top floor of the Caucasus Hotel. The letter was not signed. Okay. I tak oto zdobywamy osiągnięcie Defense Evidence number 8. It clearly indicates the intention of committing the crime by the victim, which, according to my client's testimony, was committed on the day of the murder. Not only did she break into the apartment of my client, deprived him of his extremely important documents, but also she was acting with the intention to kill him by hitting him on the head with a heavy object, which resulted in loss of consciousness and brain damage. Then she fled the scene without calling for medical help or making sure that my client was alive. So your client had sufficient motive to commit that murder. Gentlemen, please calm down. The evaluation of the evidence is in the hands of the court. Monsieur Eaton, please continue. Okay. Dowód obrony zdobyty. No to na górę do apartamentu i zeznania można zakończyć kładąc się spać w swojej sypialni. Nie wiem, czemu zamknąłem te drzwi, ale wydaje mi się, że chyba ich nie zamknąłem. Ale to mniejsza o to. Koniec zeznania. I was even too tired to undress. Is it all you want to testify, Monsieur Eaton? Oui, Monsieur le Président. And so I close the hearing. It is time to present your positions. Monsieur le Président, the accused tried to trick himself off the responsibility. He used cunning rhetoric, trying to hide more and more of his new lies. However, in view of the evidence presented by the prosecutor, I have no doubt that Alfred Eaton, defendant who appeared today before the court, murdered Marie Capet in cold blood. Please, let the High Court not be deceived by his tearful stories about a poor gypsy from the country who gained his success with hard work and which Marie Capet so cleverly tried to destroy. It was the accused who destroyed the life of a poor girl and her family with full premeditation. And what did that poor girl do to deserve such cruel fate? She was searching for a better life and was employed as a maid in the same building in which a dangerous psychopath lived. According to the prosecution, the accused is guilty, Monsieur le Président. Therefore, I apply for recognition of Alfred Eaton, defendant who appeared today before the court, guilty of all charges against him and for imposition of the death penalty by beheading on the guillotine. I ta końcówka, jak on tak zastyga w bezruchu, jest taka dziwna. However, during the preparation of indictment, he made many mistakes. As to the hotel room, my client had never rented a room in the Caucasus Hotel. The guest book was falsified, and the clerk made a false statement. As to the alleged attempt to use the torture device on the victim, my client did not intend to use his interrogation device, which the prosecutor describes as a torture machine, neither on Marie Capet nor on anyone else. It is important to emphasize the relationship of Marie Capet and my client. According to the testimony of the victim's parents, she felt a deep resentment and contempt both for my customer and for his work and success. As to the meeting with Marie Capet in his apartment, it was Marie Capet who broke into the apartment of my client. 
Alfreditun caught her when she was trying to rub his safe, and she, without hesitation, grabbed a metal rod and attacked my client. Marie Capet broke into the apartment of my client with the intention of committing theft. This is indicated by a letter that my client found in the room of Madame Capet. As for Alfred Eaton's weapon, please note, Monsieur le Président, that my client testified that he had not had the murder weapon on himself. The knife was in his secret workshop all that time. Everyone could have stolen it and then dropped it off. As for the murder, as my client testified, he did not kill Marie Capet. So, who did? As I mentioned, Marie Capet was supposed to steal the designs from the safe of my client. Is this the true reason why she started to work for my client's neighbor? As for the testimony of the neighbor who saw Alfred Eaton entering the building covered in blood. According to my client's testimony, that meeting had never taken place. So the witness made a false testimony. Taking into account the evidence from the neighbor's opinions, the witness might have had a motive, an aversion towards my client, and racial prejudice. Thank you, Monsieur le Président. No i cela. To jest w ogóle dziwne. Co tu odkręcamy wodę, jak tu nic nie leci? Idźmy spać, kończymy to. The verdict on behalf of the République française. The court, as present, hereby finds that Alfred Eaton, accused of murdering Marie Capet, is guilty of the charges against him and sentences the accused for life. O, nowe zakończenie. Wow, i wystarczyło znaleźć tylko jeden dowód obrony. Super. Czyli jeden dowód obrony i już zdobyliśmy na tyle zaufania sędziego, że pomimo trzech kłamstw odkrywamy nowe zakończenie gry. Coś wreszcie innego niż ta ulubiona gilotyna. Okej, okay, kontynuujmy. Tak oto zdobywamy osiągnięcie Life Imprisonment. Przypominam, że jeżeli macie problem z odblokowywaniem także innych osiągnięć w tej grze, to w opisie tego filmu znajdziecie linki do wszystkich moich poradników dotyczących Bohemian Kill. To by było na tyle. Dzięki za oglądanie. Cześć!